Perhaps you have matzo ball soup on the stove top or a brisket in the oven. Kol hakavod. And if all you have is a box of matzah on your shelf, well, well done. If you have swept the dust from under your bed and wiped the chametz crumbs from your kitchen corners, good job. Any effort you have made to ready your homes and ready yourselves for Pesach is a remarkable achievement, an act of love of Jewish tradition, a commitment to a life of mitzvot, and a sanctification of our calendar. And I know it isn't easy. Last year, we were all good sports. We were creative and cautious in our Pesach observances. But this year, the second time around, isn't much fun. We were supposed to be done with all of this by now, and yet, here we are. So I'd like to say three things to you. Number one, go easy. Give yourself a break. If the silver isn't polished, it's really okay. But I encourage you, do spread out a tablecloth over your table and do light two simple candles. That's enough to fill your home with the gift of the holy day. And with one click, you can join my family and hundreds of fellow congregants and Mayor Tory for a no fuss Seder. Number two, please be vigilant. Do not let down your guard. The third wave is making its way through Toronto, including through the Jewish community. Do not lose your resolve now for what I pray will be the last major wave of this disease. The end may be in sight, but we are certainly not there yet. And number three, give yourself some praise. You deserve it. The year you have endured has been hard. Pat yourself on the back for the courage and the patience and the fortitude it took to endure loneliness, hardships, and losses. Tonight we enter into the restorative rest and the holiness of Shabbat. And tomorrow night we will each take our place at the head of the table, each one a king and a queen, free to feast and sing, free to remember. As Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlav taught, the exodus from Egypt occurs for every human being, in every era, in every year, and every single day. So consider, how are you free today? Consider, what burden can you set down today? Consider, what small act of redemption can you claim for yourself? And what act of redemption can you create for another? I'd like to conclude with a poem entitled Passover Miracle. For a copy of these words, you can click just below the screen, and maybe you'd like to share this poem with your Seder gathering tomorrow night. It comes from the URJ Press and is also included in this beautiful new Haggadah that we'll be using for our congregational Seder. The name of the Haggadah is Mishkan HaSeder, and once again, the name of the poem is Passover Miracle by Merle Feld. That we find our spring selves again, shed the thick protective layers of winter that shield but separate us from the world out there. We sit at the Seder table tired, yes, but hoping to be refreshed, hoping in spirit to be refreshed. Sitting at the Seder table, we encounter our younger selves, wide-eyed, asking questions. We become each year, once again, the four sons, daughters, childlike, spring-like, ready each year, once again, to go out from Egypt. With nothing but a pack on our back, ready to walk once again out into the wilderness in search of our freedom and our God. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.